Hi, this is Dave from Cynthia, and welcome to our channel, the best place to start your property wealth journey. We hope you have enjoyed our last vlog by Sherry. Today, I'm going to continue to share three things you can do during this extended circuit breaker. Number one, don't stop your business. I repeat, don't stop your business. Because throughout history, some big names are born during times of adversity, like IBM, Microsoft, and some general electrical big brands out there. And these big companies started during time of recession. A lot of companies during crisis are afraid and not willing to take risks, or they have no direction on what to do, and so do nothing. And these big companies, they know how to find opportunities during crisis. If you are proactive in your market, and if you are advertising more, you will get the attention when the circuit breaker is over. And you will definitely dominate the industry you are in. So, start to get connected with your customers those interested in your business get connected with your team get connected with your business partners now is the time to unite as a team so expand your business and this is not the time to contract and you may not see any results in the next 39 to 40 days but you will certainly see that while others in the same trade are trying to pick themselves up after the circuit breaker, you are already running. You still enjoying my vlog? Stay with me as I'm going to share another two points which are super important to do during circuit breaker. Point number two, self-reflection. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? because there are lots of jobs out there, business start dropping, no income. Ask, what can I learn from this? Every experience is never wasted. Think, what can you do to prevent such things from happening again? What could you have done better to prepare yourself for future crises like this COVID-19? And this is not the first virus attack and I'm sure it will not be the last. We've also heard news of how oil and gas prices have dropped tremendously the past few days. How businesses suffered losses during this pandemic. But this is not the first and it also won't be the last too. How are you going to run your business from now on? if another virus is going to attack or another financial crisis is going to happen. Would you still do what you do now? And since we are all free at the moment, this is the best time to think and reflect. Next, what else can you do? Point number three, revisit your goals your visions and your business directions. And this is also linked to point two that I mentioned above. You do not just reflect and think and do nothing about it. When we say goodbye to 2019, we have much hope and anticipation looking forward to an awesome 2020. But little do we know that a virus decided to intrude into our world in 2020, this year. We can't do anything about the virus except to keep ourselves safe and our family safe and pray that a solution will be available soon. But what can we do is that we can take control of our own lives and our own business direction. So, 
whatever goals you may have set to change, revisit them. Plan according to what is the economic forecast at the moment. Set measurable goals and action plans to execute them once circuit breaker is over. I hope that you have enjoyed my vlog so far. Remember the last three pointers that Sherry has shared with all of you. If you would like to attend one of our webinars about property market, click the link below and registration is free. Xinjia would also like to hear from you as well. Feel free to DM us and comment below to share more with us. If you have other good ways of how we can spend our circuit breaker, like making bubble teas at home, it doesn't matter, just share with us. Do feel free to share with us too, right? Thank you guys and girls for watching. Do stay safe, do stay home. We love you guys and girls, and we are going to see you soon. Ciao!